Welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at the estimating stream biodiversity simulation, which is part of the Virtual Biology Lab suite of simulation programs. We are going to be using this particular simulation to generate some data about the impacts of pollution levels on stream biodiversity. Before we can actually use the program, we need to learn a little bit about the various buttons around it. These buttons help you to do the actual virtual sampling and to set the pollution levels. The purple buttons are used to control the program and there are several sets of them. The upper set here basically has a reset button which resets the whole program to whatever parameters you've set, a go button that starts the invertebrates moving for a particular run. There's some more purple buttons down here that enable you to open the SANE. SANE is just a kind of a net and also to close the same, but we actually won't need the remaining purple buttons down here. We'll use the defaults. In the middle here, there is a green button, a green tab, which has a pull-down menu that enables you to set the pollution levels. For our purposes, we'll start with none. The other boxes below the little virtual stream are basically the little virtual buckets when the insects come down the stream, as we'll see in a minute, the SANE collects the insects or catches some of these insects and automatically sorts them and puts them into the appropriate bucket. So that this bucket here, for example, this blue bucket represents all the caddis flies that are being caught in the SANE. Below here in these recorder boxes are the actual number of caddis flies that are being caught. So it's the numerical version of what you see up here in these little blue boxes. Below here, there's some more recorders. They record the total number of species that have been caught in a run and the total number of individuals that have been caught in a run. Okay, that's also important data for calculating diversity indices. Well, let's go ahead and try a run. The first thing you always need to do is hit the reset button. This just ensures that all the parameters are set the way you want them. In this case, we've set the pollution level to none. As soon as that's done, then we hit the go button. And that will start the virtual macroinvertebrates moving down our virtual stream and then we had to hit the open SANE button that opens the sampling SANE. The SANE will begin to collect the macroinvertebrates as they move at random down the stream and as you can see uh, in those little blue boxes each of the different kinds of invertebrates has been sorted and put into its appropriate box and down here below the number of invertebrates in each one of those buckets is being recorded. The SANE will turn off automatically. You don't have to worry about that. At that point, you need to collect all the information that we've picked up in the simulation program. So there are 16 of these boxes down here, each of which is labeled with a species name. You need to record the information in all 16 of those boxes. That is the information for all 16 species, but how many invertebrates were caught. And also two other bits of information, the total number of species that were collected altogether in this particular sampling run, and the total number of individuals. Uh, that information is necessary in order to calculate the diversity indices that you'll be calculating. When you're done then, you can simply hit the reset button and that clears everything out eventually. This may take a few seconds. Uh, you can keep the go button on or turn off the microinvertebrates, whatever you prefer. At this point, your run is over. Then you can go ahead and continue sampling more times at that particular pollution levels, or you can change pollution levels to another pollution level. For example, let's try severe. Again, to start a run, hit reset, hit go, and open the SANE. And then wait again until the SANE closes, and then record all the information that was collected during this particular run by the program. And that's it, you just need to do this for both the non, the moderate, and the severe pollution, and record all the data in an Excel spreadsheet. Good luck, and hopefully get some good data out of this exercise. Bye-bye.